Welcome to Term 5, Lesson 8. How do we change the subject of a formula? As with the previous lessons, those people who think they can answer the questions, will first few slides will be the questions used in the lesson, and right at the end, the answers will be given. And for those, the rest of us, we will work for the questions, pause, work out, and then press play, and we will then do the answers. So, first few slides is the le questions in this lesson. First slide, second slide, third slide, Okay, the rest of us uh, have got to pause, try and work out the answer, and then we will go from there. A diver knows the height of a board is h, and the time t it takes to hit the water are related. He uses the formula h equals 5t. h equals 5t squared, where h is measured in metres and t is measured in seconds. He gives a friend to time him. It takes 1.2 seconds to hit the water. What was the height of the board? So we know h equals t equals 1.2 seconds. So 5 times 1.2 seconds squared. Now 1.2 squared is 1.2 times 1.2. That's 12 times 12. And then this one place placed in. 1.2 times 1.2. Oh no, 1 times 2 is 2. So no 10s. And two ones. One times one is one, so two times two is four, so naught tens, four ones, and two times one is two, so naught tens and two ones. Adding up, adding up this way, that would be four on its own. Two plus zero plus two is four. Zero plus one plus zero is just one, that's zero there. Just place here is falling down this way. This one is shooting across here, they collide here. This one cannot go any further, that one, and this one here can go any further. So they take the easiest route going. They go down the diagonal and end up out here. So the answer is 1.44. So h equals 5 times 1.44. Now we need to find what 5 lots of 1.44 are. Again, I'll go back to my rule. Now I have a 1 times 3. So this is 1.44 here, and here is 5. 4 times 5 is now... 2 10 0 1s, 4 times 5 is 20, and 1 times 5 is 5. Again, so 0 here, that would be 2, 2 plus 5 makes 7, that's 0. Just in place, it's got no colliding with anything, it goes straight down, and at 7.2. So, height of the meat board is 7.2 meters. Next question video. Oops. Changing the subject of a formula. Part A. Rearrange this formula to make Q the subject. W equals 7Q minus 100. The subject of a formula is the variable or letter on its own on one side. So at the moment, W is the subject of this formula. To change the subject, you have to rearrange the formula to get a different variable on its own on one side. It's a bit like solving an equation. Start by getting rid of the minus 100 by adding 100 to both sides. It's a good idea to write down the operation you're using at each stage to keep track of your working. To keep the formula correct, you have to do the same thing to both sides at each step. So W plus 100 equals 7Q. 7Q means 7 times Q. So to get Q on its own, you need to divide both sides by 7. Make sure you divide everything on the left-hand side by 7. You've got Q on its own on one side of the formula, so you've finished. Write your answer in the form Q equals.
Part B. Rearrange this formula to make V the subject. D equals M over V. You want V on its own on one side. At the moment, V is on the bottom of the fraction and that's tricky. It will be easier to work with if it's not. So start by multiplying both sides by V. On the left hand side, you'll have DV and on the right hand side, you'll have just M. Now there are no fractions. You can divide both sides by D to get V on its own. V equals M over D. You need to write your formula as V equals M over D. Don't just write M over D because on its own it wouldn't be a formula. Okay. Okay, so next question. Use the formula V equals U plus AT to work out the following values. So V equals U plus AT. Question 9. Pause the video, work out the answers. Press play when you're ready, and we'll go through. So 9A. V equals 34. A equals 5. And T equals 3. Substitute so these values into here. V is 34. Equals U. Plus A, which is 5. Times T, which is 3. So, 34 equals U plus 5 times 3 is 15. Now, take away 15 on both sides. Thirty-four take away fifteen. So I know if that's thirty-five take away fifteen, that'd be twenty. So that should be nineteen. Nineteen equals U. B. B equals fifty. U equals twenty. A equals five. So B is fifty. U here is twenty. Plus A, 5T times T. So we can get rid of this 20 straight away. So minus 20 on both sides. 50 take away 20 is 30. Equals 5 times T. We divide both sides by 5. And find out what T is. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Equals t, so t equals six, and that u equals nineteen. C. V equals twenty-two. U equals eight, and t equals seven. Substitute so value in there. So v is twenty-two. Equal u is eight plus a, which is a, times by seven. So we can take away 8 on both sides. Eight on both sides. Uh, 22 take away 8. Uh, 12 take away 8 is 4. Add on 14. Equals A times 7. You divide by 7 both sides, you get rid of it times by 7 there. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So A equals 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Question number 10. A little bit harder. Use the formula S equals UT plus half AT squared to work out the values of A when S is 37, T is 5, and U is 5.6. Okay, so let's do a little bit. So S equals u t plus half a t squared uh, s equals 37 t equals 5 and u equals 5.6 so substitute these values into this equation this formula here so s is 37 equals u 5.6 times t which is 5 plus a half times 
a times t squared. So, 37 equals what, 5.6 times 5. Uh, Well, I doubt this well. 5.6 times by 5. 5, 6 is a 30. 5, 5 is a 25. That'd be 0. 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus 2 is 2. Decimal place, 4 straight through. So it's 28. 28 plus half times a times y squared <coughs> t is 5, so 5 squared is 25 go through back so, what can we do? what we can do take 28 away from both sides so minus 28 on both sides 37, take away 28 9 equals half a times 25 well that's half times a times 25 a half of 25 is 12 and a half so we can go through it so we know that's right away half both half this side we don't need to do anything that's so we're not doing both sides just doing one side so nine equals a times 12.5 Five. So divide both sides by 12.5. We end up with 9 over 12.5 equals A. Now, I don't like having decimal places in fractions, so I really want to get rid of that decimal, fra decimal point. So how do I get rid of it? Well, if I times that by 10, I end up 125. What if I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So timesing both sides by that by 10, I end up 9 times 10 is 90 over 125 equals A. Now, 90 and 125, you don't cancel the fraction down to its lowest forms. I know a number will be going to 90 and 25, one ends in zero and one ends in five. I know five will go into both. So five will go into 90, 18 times, and five will go into 125. Well, I know five will go into 100, 100, 20 times, and five will go into 25, five times, so that'll be 25. So the answer is A equals 18 over 25. Now, at the back of this, we have a decimal answer. Rather than we've working out the decimal answer, those people who would want to jump to the back got to do it straight away 18 over 25 as a decimal is 0 0.72 so a equals 0.72 for those who want to jump to the back but we know that a equals 18 over 25 which is the same answer it's in 10 of course 11 Use the formula t equals np divided by v to work out the values when t is 0 0.24, p is 4.2, and v is 7. So, t equals np over v, capital V. t equals 0.24, p equals 4.2, and v equals 7. So put this information into our formula here. So t equals 0.24 equals n, lowercase n, we don't have anything like that, n times p, capital P is 4.2, over v, which is 7. So, this is 7. To get rid of division, we need to times everything by 7. So let's times everything by 7. So 0 0.24 times by 7. So, quick sum here. 0 0.24 times by 7. Also, 28. 2 7 is 14. No 7 is 9. 
nothing. So eight, six, one. This place comes down there, so 1.68. 1.68 equals n times 4.2. Now, to get rid of the 4.2, leave n on its own, we need to divide both sides by 4.2. So divide by 4.2, divide by 4.2. So we end up 1.68 divided by 4.2 equals n. Well, 4.2 divided into 1.68. So 1.68 divided by 4.2. Again, we have decimal places. I don't really like decimal places in there. We really want whole numbers for dividing. So here, we times this one by 10, and then we have to times this one by 10. So it's a good idea to understand what's happening here. So 42 into 16.8. How many 42s in 16.8? Not many. So my 42 times table, 42 plus 42 equals 84. 42 onto that will be 6, 126. 42 onto there will be 8, 6, 1. Oh, I've seen that number before here. So how many 42s in 1? Zero. How many 42s in 16? Zero. Decimal place. How many 42s in 168? Well, we've got one there. Oh, no, that's one, two, three, four. So the answer is four. So 0 0.4. So n equals 0 0.4. Next question. Question 12. The number of office chairs N that an online business should regularly order is given the formula N equals the square root P 2AP over H, where A is the number of sold each year, H is the storage cost, and P is the cost of processing the order. Work out the value of N when A is 100, P is £10, and H is £5. So N equals square root 2AP. P over H. A equals 100. P equals 10 pound. H equals 5 pound. So, set the values in here. N equals square root 2 times A, which is 100, times P, which is 10, over H, which is 5. So, work out the 2 times 100 is 200, times by 10 is 2000. So, n equals square root 2000 over 5. Ah. How many 5s in 2000? Well, I know, I know there's 4 5s in 20. And to put two zeros on the end. So n equals square root 400. Because 5 into 20 go 4, you get 0 is over. So that ends up with 400 over 1, which is the same as 400. So n equals square root of 400. What number times by itself makes 400? Well, believe it or not, 20 times 20 equals 400. Because 4 times 4 is 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 zeros. So the answer, n equals 20. 12. The subject format is a way to letter on its own, on one side, on the equal sign. For example, the subject of k equals a half mv squared is k. We change the subject of a formula by rearranging the formula to get the letter you want on its own, on one side of the equal sign. So here we've got Make M the subject of the formula, F equals MA, where F is force, M is mass, and A is acceleration. So, we want to make M. So, what we do here is to, what would you do? To get A out of there, I'll divide it both sides. End up with F equals A equals M. Or M equals F over A. Right, these ones. Question 13. 
make x the subject of these formulae. So a p equals x h. Want well, x on its own, so we want to get rid of h. There's a time sign in between them, so really all I want to do is divide both sides by h. So divide by h. I'll get p over h equals x. Or x equals p over h. B. B equals rx. Dx on its own. And that's a time sign in between them, so I divide both sides by R. V over R equals X, or rearranged X equals X equals V over R. C. A equals X plus Y. That's a plus sign, opposite is a minus, so minus Y both sides. I end up with A minus Y equals x. I'll have to put my signs in there. So x equals a minus y. D. F equals x minus r. Get rid of r. Plus r both sides. It's plus. So f plus r equals x. Or x equals f plus r. E. R equals x over 2. To get rid of the divide, we times both sides by what number? Which is 2, two times by 2. So we've got 2r equals x. Of course, 2r is 2 times r. So x equals 2r. F. M equals x over n same as we did here times both sides by n we end up with m n equals x or turn it around x equals m n f g t equals x minus 2v do we want to get rid of the 2v we get rid of the 2v don't do the simple step do it both together so Add 2v both sides. So t plus 2v equals x, or x equals t plus 2v. H. Y equals x plus p. Get rid of np, we take it away, so minus np both sides y minus np equals x or x equals y minus np i r equals 2x plus 4 slightly harder not p really. take away 4 both sides with r minus 4 equals 2 x give the 2 here divide both sides by 2 r minus 4 divided by 2 equals x or x equals r minus 4 divided by 2 okay. make the letter in a bracket the subject of each of the following formally. So first one T question fourteen A make T the subject D equals S T to get rid of get T on its own get rid of S and do it that's S times T so divide both sides by T by S Sorry. So D over S equals T. D. D equals ST, or distance equals speed times time. We want speed on its own. So we divide both sides by T. 
So divide by t on both sides. So d over t equals s, distance over time equals speed. C. F equals t plus r, and we want t. So get rid of r both sides, so minus r both sides. We have f minus r equals t. D. H equals m minus n, and we want m. So add n both sides. H plus n equals m. Plus n and n makes itself nothing. So m equals h plus n. Here. That one turned around with t equals d over s. This one here, s equals d over t. Here, t equals f minus r. Here, m equals h over n. h plus n, sorry. E. K equals 2l plus n. We want n so that's a plus sign there so we need to take away two elbow sides there's two elbow sides so k minus 2l equals n or n equals k minus 2l f b equals u plus a t and we want u so let's get rid of at both sides minus at there minus at there b minus at equals u or u equals b minus at f g b equals u plus at and we want a on its own so we get rid of u both sides minus u both sides we end up with b minus u in the steps in equals a t now we want to get rid of t which we want to be times so we need to divide both sides here by t divided by both sides by t we end up with b minus u over t equals a or a equals b minus u over t h f minus t f equals f equals my t minus m g and we want t as a subject so we add m g on both sides you read it from here it appears over here f equals f f plus m g equals t or t equals f plus m g h i k equals m t and we want m on its own divide by t here so we times everything by t we end up k t equals m that's it so m equals k T. Y. J. K equals M over T. And we want T to be the subject. Like the video here. So we times everything by T. K T equals M. And then we want to get rid of the K. So we need to divide it by everything by k. We have t equals m over k. J, k. D equals m over v. And we want, and we want m to be the subject. So times everything by v. We end up d b equals m. And now we want M, D, V, Q, M. That's it, done. A bit quick. Okay. L, D equals M over V. And we want the V to be the subject. So we times everything by V. D 
and b equals m we want b so then we need to divide by d on both sides b equals m over d is it done in your lesson you have met or used formula used in different contexts who uses formally and why do you think formally are useful challenge use the formula cards to work out each value of the letter i equals 12 k plus i equals g 4 h equals i g plus 4 equals 2 l 2 i sorry n equals h to the power of 3 minus i a equals bracket w minus h close bracket squared k plus i equals 4 w write the letters in order from the smallest to the biggest what famous scientist name do you spell pause and have a go so we know the letter I equals 12. K plus 12 equals G. 4 H equals 12. Ah. So divide both sides by 4. So H equals 12 divided by 4. So H equals 3. So H equals 3. G plus 4 equals 2i. Well, 2i is 24. So G plus 4 equals 2i. Well, that's 24. So take away 4 from both sides. G equals 20. Uh, N equals H. And you've got H, yeah, H there and I, yeah, so N equals H cubed, so H is 3, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 is 9, 3 nines are 27, minus I, which is 12. So 12 away from that would be 25, 15, so N equals 15, so N equals 15. A. We've got a W. Mm, no, no, no W, so you've got one alone at the moment. So K plus I equals 4W. K. We've got K yet? Yeah. We've got G. So K plus 12 equals G, which is 20. Take away 8, 12 from both sides. We have k equals 8. So k equals 8. What k is? So k, which is 8, plus i, which is 12, equals 4w. That makes 20 equals 4w. So divide by sides by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is w, which is W equals 5. So W equals 5. So then we've got A. A equals bracket 5 minus H is 3 squared. A equals 5 take away 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So A is 4. A equals 4. H was that G got N we got A we got K we got one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two <coughs> So in order three is H A is four 5 is W, 
Next one. K is 8. I is 12. And there's your name. Okay. Here's the answers.